go to christianforco.uk get going guides we're going to be looking at creating new pages for our website and so far we've just been dealing with content to go onto a page adding text and images and buttons uh, but now we want to add pages uh, to move onto uh, it's very simple to add a page it's all done in the site menu here on the uh, left hand side of the screen um, or you could go to the page menu and add new pages or duplicate pages and delete pages from there but the site menu is probably the best way to approach this it's very simple to create a new page is you just drag a page down from the master page and then just drop it below give it a name so I'm gonna give this a uh, info page title so for some information and a blank page will appear uh, for you to start working on. Now the trouble with making new pages is they do start off blank. Because it gives you something new to work on you lose the identity of your site quite easily. So what you want to do is to maintain your same banner and corporate design so whatever you've got working through your site keeping it all on every page. Now I could just select the banner and copy it and go to the info page and then go paste and paste it down and it will all be working exactly the same but the trouble is if something moves or I need to change one of these buttons uh, then I need to go into every page to change it and it also means I've got to copy and paste it into every page whenever I create a new page which is laborious so to get rid of that we go back to the main page what we want to do is look at the master page the master page is a blank page at the moment because there's nothing on it uh, and the master page would apply to every page that uses it so all our pages at the moment are using master one so everything we put on this master one file will appear on all these pages so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm gonna cut it so I'm just deleting it from this page but putting it on the pasteboard so this is a, the freeway demo homepage file at the moment now if I go to the master page I'm now going to paste this information onto here so now every page that uses this master page as indicated here will have this header working on it so if we go back to the main site you can see that it's there already and it's also on the other pages as well anything I put on this master page document will appear there so if I put in a little picture here let's put that one in and we'll just resize it that will now appear on every page that we work on so as I click on the different pages I will keep the same information if I want to take something off of every page I just click on it delete it and it's been removed from every page so if I make a change to the master page it changes every page that that master page is applied to if I want to make a new master page it's fairly straightforward I can go to uh, page and uh, we can go to new pages uh, and down to new master and you give it um, a name that you want to call it and then a new master will appear here and if I put a different identity on here so I just put this image back in well, let's use that one whenever I drag a page down from that I make a new page with my master it will have that information so different sections of your website can have different identities as you work through so once you've done that you can then start making links to your page so here's my info uh, icon here with a rollover and all I want then is to link to the info page down there so I can start making it uh, interactive and that's going to be my site panel 
if I want to use it by the hyperlink window. So that's using master pages and making new pages. Uh, you can also make new folders uh, for them to go into so you can access it all from down here. So if I want to make a folder within my site, uh, so I'm going to have a folder for all the video files, I can make a folder and then I can start putting other pages inside these folder. And so and I can close it up and so I don't end up with hundreds of files all in one big list I can section them all up with videos and when it uploads it will upload that onto video so if we have a look uh, at the preview of that there we go now if we look in our demo uh, folder and have a look in the site folder you can see that it's made a folder there with all the video HTML and everything in there so it makes all the different folders up for you based on your freeway uh, folder structure. So site menu is very good making master pages and controlling all your pages and we'll have a look at what you can do within your site uh, menu uh, window uh, for the next tutorial. So visit me at www.crystalinfocode.uk or you can find me on iTunes or on YouTube.